Uh, first one comes actually from ULA. We actually, we actually have some Vulcan news. There's actually some Vulcan news that broke like just today, but I don't have this. We'll talk about that next week. Uh, but Vulcan flight run is firing. So last Thursday, ULA fueled up its Vulcan booster with uh, liquid methane and oxygen and conducted several test countdowns. The test concluded with a six second static firing of the two Blue Origin BE-4 engines attached to the bottom. This was the final test before ULA begins preparations for the first launch of Vulcan. The flight will have several payloads, Astrobotics uh, Peregrine Lander, uh, and Amazon Kuiper Satellites, the first couple of the Kuiper Satellites, and a memorial mission from oh, I Celestis, I think is how you pronounce it. So this is a pretty big moment for ULA. Uh, we've been kind of like waiting for this to happen. They were supposed to roll it out. I think they were supposed to do it like a month ago. Then they had like an anomaly with the second stage and they found some issues yep. with um, something on the rocket when they rolled it out the first time through some tests and then they had to roll it back and fix those and they rolled it out again. Um, so that's big congratulations to ULA for uh, completing this test. Um, and uh, I, I was... <laughs> I, I didn't really look into much into this. I just knew they were going to do it. I didn't really look into like, the details of it, so I didn't know yep. it was only going to be six seconds. So um, <laughs> I'm just like, it's like, there's no way they're going to do a full duration. Like That's not you. They did they're it for like, social media. Duration. Six seconds. They, it's the perfect social media, like, it, <laughs> shorts. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It is true. Um, so, like, yeah, I just fired, and then it shut down. I'm like, oh, cool. Awesome. Uh, you got the Rofi's all in there, and it's, you know, super awesome to see those BE4s come alive. I mean, that... Not for the first time. We've seen test firings videos from from Blue Origin, but uh, at least first time on the uh, on the Vulcan booster, which is super super yeah. cool. Yeah, can I say that I'm gonna cut in and say that the Vulcan name is probably one of the best mm -hmm. names that we've had for a rocket yeah. Um, yeah. by far. Uh, it's it's my favorite named rocket for sure. Yeah, beats it beats anything else. I mean, I did like it when it was BFR instead of Starship, uh, just because it was funny. Um, <laughs> Because everyone would be like, what does BFR mean? And they're like, they'll yeah. say their version of BFR. And I'm like, no, it's actually a big Falcon rocket. Yeah. Uh, and then they'll feel dumb. But uh, <laughs> uh, no, Vulcan is definitely one, especially Star Trek. It's all Star Trek y. And I'm like, it's also, I, I know it's not named after Star Trek. It's named after some mythological, whatever the Vulcans were mythologically wise. I don't know. I didn't know from Star Trek. So uh, the paint scheme is super awesome. So I think the paint yep. scheme is going to be on the first two missions at least. Yep. It's got the orange, right? um, orange. Yeah, and I was, uh, I was like, it's kind of like the, uh, it's kind of like flames, not flames. It's like a, it's like the red V that's like on the side of the booster. Oh and I'm yeah. I'm like, I have yeah, to, go, I have to go see this thing launch. I have to see the first mission because I have to get a photo. So anytime I'm gonna get a photo of this rocket with that paint scheme, because after that they're just gonna go to their base paint scheme. Yep. Until I watch the, <laughs> the flight right it's firing video, and I'm like, oh wait, it's gonna be covered in ice. <laughs> We're not gonna get any <laughs> photos of it with the paint scheme. I mean, maybe when it lifts off, some of it will break away. But yeah, like, if you watch, off. if you watch Falcon, uh, not Falcon, um, if you watch uh, Rocket Lab uh, launches, like, yeah, some of the ice breaks away, but it's still white. <laughs> like, it's, yeah. not, it's still a white rocket uh, for most of it. So, can we start a we'll petition get, to get? To get like a, a black and red rocket, so it's like Vader. I'm not a I'm not a Star Trek fan. I'm a Star Wait, Wars fan. Rocket Lab so, is black and red. Yeah, but I mean, like, can we call it Vader? <laughs> <laughs> sure. You know what? <laughs> you can call it Vader. Okay. We'll just start calling it Vader. Who? They? No one can stop us. So. But yeah. So uh, congratulations for the, their... the Star Trek. The Trekkies will stop me. <laughs> <laughs> We can't. We can only have Vulcan. We can't have Vader. Yeah, exactly. 